water is essential for diamond drilling to cool our core beds. What options do we have to supply cooling water to our systems? Welcome to another episode of Diamond Tips and Tricks, this time about the cooling water options. There is four different options to organize water supply. They all have their strengths and weaknesses. Let's review this. Option number one, a long hose attached to the water tap of the building you are working in. What are the pros? You don't need a lot of hardware. All you need is the hose itself. You have unlimited amount of water at your hand and the pressure is very stable. The only disadvantage you have that it is really seldom to have real access to the water network. Nine out of 10 times, this option simply doesn't exist. Option number two is a pressure tank. A simple device where through manual pumping, pressure can be built up and water can be fed to the drilling tool through a hose. What are the advantages? This is a simple, cost-efficient device that needs neither access to a water tap nor electricity. It will work anywhere on the planet. But there is also disadvantages. Number one, you are limited to 10 liters of water supply. This is approximately five to 10 minutes of coring. Number two, the pressure is not stable over time. In the beginning, a lot of water is flowing. And then as time goes by and pressure in the tank is decreasing, the water flow is getting less and less. So you have to do a clever job on the tap of the tool to optimize the water flow. And number three, as the pressure is decreasing in a tank, after a certain amount of time, you will have to come and pump again. Could be anywhere between one and five minutes, depending on the hole size and the flow of the water. Option number three is our new battery water tank. It runs on the Neuron battery platform. There are three major advantages over the manual pressure pump. Number one, it has 15 liters of water supply. So the drilling time goes up to eight to 15 minutes. And number two, since it is an electric device, the water flow over time is constant. Third advantage, since it is cordless, you are not dependent on an electric network. Just remember to bring along a fully charged battery. Last but not least, option four, the WMS 100 water management system. This offers 100 liters of water supply. How is that possible? Because this is not just simply a supply device, but also a device that recollects wastewater, filters it, and provides it again and again and again, up to seven to eight times. So from the 14 liters of fill capacity, there will be 100 liters of supply capacity. Second advantage, similar to the battery water tank, an electric device provides stable flow over time. Last but not least, the third advantage, being more than just a supply device, it leaves a clean job site behind. The sole disadvantage, that it is a corded product, so you are dependent on the electric network. That was it for water supply. Thank you for watching. See you next time.